How do you protect avocado trees from high heat? By high heat, I mean well over 100, 105 plus. It's the only time you really need to protect avocado trees other than giving them plenty of water. Uh, so I'll give you three ways, two of which I like, one of which I'm not so convinced about. That's this first one. See the white stuff on these leaves? That's a product called Surround. It's made of kale and clay something that you spray on the leaves and looks clear when you first put it on but then it forms a white film on the leaves making a sort of sunscreen there are other products that do essentially the same thing do they work i'm not so convinced they do much i think they probably work a little bit but they don't work all that well in my experience uh two other methods I prefer. So let me show you the two, what I think of as better methods. Especially for smaller trees, I prefer to use uh, shade, some kind of shade. So here's a little tree with a piece of 60% shade cloth over the top. And notice that it's hanging down a little more on this side because that's the south side. It's early September here, so the sun has a southern angle. Um, Notice also that it's not hanging down all the way to the ground. If you drape something totally over the tree, then you've created an oven and uh, that's not good. So you just want something over the top, maybe hanging down the sides a bit to give it uh, over overhead shade is what you should think of. On a super hot day, you want, uh, you want 60%. I mean, 30% will help, but you want 60, 70%, even 100% if you have a board or a um, uh, something totally opaque and solid put that overhead that totally works too let me show you a couple other examples of shade over smallish trees there's a piece draped over a cage here's another piece draped over a cage you can also use sticks like four, three or four sticks and just tack the shade to the sticks and you see that back there that's just a patio umbrella you can use a beach umbrella a patio umbrella. I just stuck a piece of rebar in the ground next to the trunk of that little tree. And you can put your umbrella up. That does a perfect job also. Okay, but what about on bigger trees? That tree is so oh, maybe 10-ish feet tall. You're not going to put an umbrella easily over that tree. So what do you do? I prefer overhead watering if it's extremely hot and you need to protect a tree. So that sprinkler is on and it's hitting the foliage of this tree which is cooling it you can easily get 10 plus degrees of cooling by overhead watering like that let me show you another tree that's being overhead watered in a slightly different way this one has a a dedicated sprinkler just to this tree so you can see it's spinning and you can see the water wetting the leaves here just like when you jump in a pool it cools you off you can just run the sprinkler all day during the hottest times from maybe you know 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something uh, or you can turn it on and turn it off turn it on for 20 minutes turn it off for 40, turn it on for 20, turn it off for 40, either way. And if you're doing something by hand, you can just use a hose and hose the, the leaves off every hour. And that will also cool your tree down and protect it from damage in the heat. So for big trees, I like overhead cooling. For small trees, I like some kind of shade. And if you want to, you can try the um, sunscreen products like surround as well all right let's keep these trees healthy through the the last heat wave of the year here